This episode of After Dark is brought to you by, well, you. If you want to support the Boss Rush Network and our family of podcasts, head on over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash boss rush network. Thanks for your continued support. Good Wednesday, everybody. This is the 100th episode of Boss Rush After Dark. Hello. How is it going? 100 episodes. Woo. Woo. Two holes this time. Whoa. <laughs> Double the fun. Double the trouble. Yeah. And if we get to 1,000 episodes, we can officially call it a woman. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if that statement is. Uh, Where did you cancel? I know. Oh no. Is it oh, no. the man then? Why would you do that? No. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is starting. Listen, when I was a child in fourth grade, I was obsessed with cats. I still am. So I'd rent cat books from the library. And that's when I learned the difference between a female cat and a male cat and it had to do with the number of holes. So just nice. saying it's science. Mm hmm. Wait, 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 wait. I thought male or female, all the same orifice, the same number of orifices. Am I wrong? For cats? Uh, it, I, thought, I, thought for, I thought for just any species. Well, what? where do the babies come out of? The butt. Sorry, <laughs> 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 right, but the food babies come out of the butt. Uh, <laughs> all right, so welcome back. To butt. He thinks he came out of my butt. <laughs> oh well he'd be greatly surprised later we're off to a wonderful 100 episode already Man. Have this right now <laughs> what's up everyone welcome back to boss Wars after dark the alternative topical podcast show for adults here on the boss Wars network it's your boy leron back here like like really excited for this 100th episode and i hope my co-hosts uh cory stephanie and pat are also excited about this 100th episode yay hmm. sure it's that's a party, the, and we'll cry if we want to. That's the excitement you can muster. Okay, show's over. Like we're, we're, I already we're cried. Done. I already cried. We're done today. It's fine. <laughs> the one hundredth episode is now the last episode. These guys can't get their shit together. Oh boy! I just had the times. weirdest like feeling of deja vu, and I'm. It makes me feel weird. What? Uh, what's the deja vu about? What, what's I don't about? know. Just. The exact way you guys are in order in my screen, and that we are celebrating a, a, a podcast anniversary, mm -hmm. and you were trying to hype us up. Man, this feels weird. Ah, there's some big anniversaries this year, though for for us. Two probably two fifty if I if my math is right for Boss Rush podcasts. Four hundred for Power Block. Hundred for this. So, hmm. yeah, we're making things happen. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you know what? So you know what? Uh, f you know what? Just to do something real fast for for episode one hundred, uh, we're gonna we're just gonna do a real quick round robin. Um, so one hundred greatest holes of all time. Stephanie, <laughs> what was like? What, what would you what would you like us to accomplish at after dark and over the next pro uh, course of the hundred episodes? In the next hundred episodes, yeah. Like, what's, um, some, what's what's some stuff like? What, 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 what uh, we want to just keep growing the audience? Uh, do we actually want to have actual like real legit like like guests? You know things of that nature because I we you, we don't really have like we haven't hit like a celebrity thing yet. Ooh, ooh, a celebrity, ooh, I mean all sorts of celebrities ooh, from ooh, from C list ooh, to D list ooh, to porn ooh, stars ooh, to ooh, actors. Ooh. We haven't we don't have musicians. We don't have none of that stuff. So, Pat. Porn stars. Get porn stars on our show? Yes. Yeah, we'll interview porn stars. Hmm. Well, I guess that's Pat's idea. I wasn't even thinking about guests. I was just thinking about, you know, keeping our, our, our round of topics really fresh. Mm -hmm. Because we've had some pretty stellar topics the first 100. And I'm like, dang, I don't know if we, like, I want to be able to replicate that the, the same fun and laughter that we've had i know we will but you know sometimes complacency is one of the larger challenges for things that have been around for a while so 
Yeah. Uh, Pat, what say you? Like you're the you're the you're the newest addition to the show. Like uh, like what what do you say? I mean, yes, porn stars is porn stars is a good thing. As a matter of, as a matter of fact, I will I will start reaching out. This I will start reaching out to some porn stars if if, if y'all want. And it's gonna be it's gonna be varied. It's gonna be a variety of different different types of porn stars. Just, just put it like that. It's men, Fine. women. Don't say the third one, Pat. I'm gonna slap you. Trans people. No, that wasn't the word I was gonna say. Don't say. But uh, anyways, I thought Pat was gonna say hey, children, and I was gonna. No, be, oh, what? No. Fuck! No, what? The- <laughs> See, yeah, bro. You think of me as petty? No, but yeah, usually when you say uh, men, women, men, women, and children, is usually like when you use those three words in a sentence. Like, no, the third one was Kirby Trey. <laughs> Oh jeez! I don't. Oh my goodness gracious! Pat's got us canceled twice on this episode already. <laughs> what do you, mean, you? You were the no. one. Said, you were the one who said children. You were. Well, the one. I said I thought that's what he was going to say. I didn't say that's what he said. Go there. No, no. You know what? You know what? We don't. Need, we don't need Subway Jared on this show. Okay. Your job. Your, your job. Your job tonight is to go ahead and just go ahead and like bleep, blank out whatever you gotta do. All those instances of the, all that stuff getting said just there. Uh, and you know what? We'll just leave and we'll just leave that up to the imagination of like the audience. You know, like, what he say? <laughs> he, like he, something he the, really uh, should... the editor should do that we don't have. <laughs> exactly. Pre- precisely. We need so a producer. Maybe I can get there a, you go. A, Corey says we, we need a producer. <laughs> if we can't secure a porn star, I'm sure I can help secure a stripper. <laughs> All right, yeah, that works. Okay. That works. That works. I mean, I mean, we talk we, we talk enough about sexy topics. It's time to start having some sexy people up on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I think ooh, we can have sexy people, but we can have them talk about normal things. Yeah, Se- right, yeah. that's like a cool subtitle. Sexy people talk Nor- about normal things. <laughs> sexy people, sexy normal, people things. normal topics. Sexy that's people, that's normal like topics. reading a Playboy for the articles, guys. Exactly. <laughs> After dark, the Playboy edition. Oh no. Anyways, this was fun. Happy one hundred, everybody. Happy one hundred. Corey, we haven't even asked you like what what's what's your what's your outlook or, or plan for the next 100 episodes? I mean, I think it would be really interesting to get people on that you know are outside of you know. I mean, we we do spotlights with with gaming people and stuff on on the Boss Rush podcast. I think it would be really interesting to get people who do other types of work or entertainment or whatever, right? Like. Alternative I mean, entertainment because we're an alternative I mean, podcast. I mean, I think that would be interesting to get insights on on you know why they chose this profession or why they choose to do this work or you know what what's satisfying about the the work. You know, like I like you said, Laurent, like porn star, sure, why not? I that's interesting. Like mm-hmm. to actually talk about that topic would be interesting. You know, um, and I think you see more and more of that overall over the you know, course of the last couple of years. People have, you know, porn stars on podcasts and YouTube videos and stuff talking about this stuff. I think it would be interesting. Mm-hmm. Definitely grow our audience in more ways than one. You know what I mean? Huh? Hey, uh, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, man. What is, what's <laughs> happening to me? <laughs> <laughs> My outlook for the next 100 episodes is actually to get a little bit more interactive with our with our with our with our uh, with our, our our audience, so like that. We know there's an audience out there. Like there's like a like our like our numbers and our statistics show like this is one of the, this is one of the the uh, the most tuned in like like uh, like like boss rush shows. You know that. Well, I mean, this is the only show that doesn't deal with video games exclusively. You know, but like it's it's the it's the most. Uh, like, if I'm not mistaken, isn't it the most popular show outside of Pop Block, Corey? What this show? Yeah, it or is. is it, it is up there. Or is it, or is it the most popular show? And stuff like that. It is. So the yeah, most I was popular show. <laughs> oh oh oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's the most popular I, show on Patreon. That's what we like. There we go. That's boom. There we go. Yeah. Uh, but um, but yeah, like I, I, I you know what, I, I. I definitely want to be able for us to interact more with our with our audience and our fans and stuff like that. You know, like get you know get things happening. You know, like uh, like you, 
in my head back when I first pitched this idea for uh, for After Dark, you know, I I thought, you know, like, well, it, it is a it is a we're just talking and we're being adults show and stuff like that. But um, but, you know, like we've we've covered some very varied topics of very varied topics over the, over the course of the last uh, 99 episodes and stuff like that. And I know, and I know somewhere out there, like some people have actually been able to like take some of the advice or just some of the stuff we talked about and been able to like, you know, like work it into their lives or help figure or help figure things out at like crucial points in their life, wherever they're at that point and stuff like that. You know, like we we're, we're, we're funny, we're sad. We're, um, we're, we're serious, you know, like we, you know, like we've, we did it. We did a lot, you know, for for the little show that could, because like this used to be just an uh, an idea, and then and then and then to Corey's credit, Corey's like, "Fuck it, let's start recording this show." <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, originally, I you know, <laughs> there was a different plan, and it didn't happen. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Like, remember, and everybody begged to be on After Dark when we started it, and then be on After Dark. Out. Yeah, like the original, the original plan was it would like every week the show would have a rotating roster. Like maybe one person would be a fixture, but you know, like it would have a rotating roster of all the talent we had at Boss Rush. You know, it's particularly, particularly on the podcast side and stuff like that. You know, and it seemed like everybody was down for it. I guess they just blew smoke up our ass. You know, with now, that one. Then they found out that we recorded after dark, and that's when they all fell. Mm-hmm. See, that's well, why. That's why the late night shows really record in the afternoon it's so that the people are not asleep when they interview them yeah but we, we, we have, have, we have day jobs yeah and... we yeah we do so that's you know unless this is unless it's going to pay me like my day job then we can't we can't do that yet <laughs> Hey, I would like to follow up with from your question Rhonda what are everyone's kind of favorite uh, after dark episodes so far and i can start i've kind of have a tie between two um one was the conquered by clippy like readings of just funny stories and the other one was like aliens uh the one where we talked about ufos and aliens and stuff like that Th- those two are my favorite uh episodes that we've recorded mm-hmm. for after dark um i have to, i have to think about that because no honestly i feel like i feel like there has never i feel like every episode has been like fun and entertaining for me so i gotta think about this for a second i think the one where uh basically we went over Corey's weird appetites and how he hates most foods except for some very unique or combinations mm-hmm. i guess unique combinations I don't remember it all, but it was like the only way you would eat something is if you had a specific sauce or. Oh, yeah. Like there's, yeah, there's certain things that, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you want to see how you can become a Patreon producer, head on over to patreon.com slash boss rush network. The Patreon producers for this month are Adriel Munger, Austin Campbell, Celeste Roberts, Christian S. Sana Dierig, Francisco Santilan, Matthew Keel, and Todd Oxtra. Thanks for your continued support of the Boss Rush Network. There we go. <laughs> that was fun. Corey, the your favorite place. episode had to be Holes. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the one I like to joke about the, mo- the most, but I actually think, like... There were there were some episodes pretty early on that I enjoyed. Um, there were some impactful episodes. I don't know if I enjoyed them the most, but uh, you know, I, I feel like I feel like After Dark is a show that um, I don't want to see this video. I want to see the the playlist. Um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Get I'm the trying to. Myself. Yeah, here. I think this this should give every everybody the playlist at least um i don't need a playlist to remember the best episode i think think the jerry springer episode was pretty fun Um, yeah the um let's see we laron the episode that you and i did the second one or even the first one that we did because i learned so much about you as a person was very impactful and Mm -hmm. helped me view things differently 
um, that first episode that was just you and me where we, I, you know, I asked you kind of like, you know, personal questions and stuff. And it was very um, impactful for me at least. Um, Thanks. Thanks. Like, uh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I try to be, I try to be transparent. Like, uh, like, you know, like, I'll, it's not that I like, it's not that I like talking about myself. I just like, you know, like when people ask me questions like that, like I, I, I really open up and, you know, like I'm like, especially when I know people are genuine about their questions. They're not trying to, they're not trying to be like, like weird or trying to like have an ulterior motive or whatnot. Like, yeah. I, so that was a good one. Yeah. Um, oh, how, do you know, our... how did you know that Corey wasn't trying to get into your pants? He doesn't. Mm-hmm. I, I I don't, but I have a but I have a good feeling about him. Even though even though even though like even though like I I, I typically tend to be all like 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 the, like the guy all my straight male friends want to want to like experiment with, and it's like it, it's hmm. funny. I'm like I'm like are you, I'm like are you coming to me because like you know I'm 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 a friend and you know like you feel like it's a it's a realm of safety. I'm like how do you know I'm not waiting to take advantage of you? <laughs> hmm. 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 Mm. Good question. Mm. Good question. Also, my favorite things that we did too are the the dramatic readings of of erotic fiction. It was also very fun. I enjoyed that. I want to go back to that, and I want to find more silly <laughs> hentai and anime games on Switch and read the descriptions of those too. <laughs> remember, remember episode about the zip code rule. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Basically, how how many state lines will you cross? <laughs> to get laid (laughs) as many as i need to state lines international lines (laughs) i mean at any at any oceans at any level i'm not sure i would (laughs) have a zip this zip code be my home anymore (laughs) uh so yeah man good times this show stephanie's uh stephanie's insight about being a catholic schoolgirl. that was that was that was that was very informative like apparently, apparently y'all aren't as sexually repressed as like as like uh, all the boys are at the at the all boys school. Yeah, I think the boys schools are a lot worse off. I uh, I don't know. I, a bunch of kids got in trouble on a on a school trip for uh, you know doing doing the things. So uh, I this we recorded this grade. episode, mm-hmm. episode forty one. Did Raven really elevate the Cheetah Girls? I forgot we recorded that episode. <laughs> yeah, the thing is though, we only we only talked about it for like ten minutes on that episode. I think <laughs> right, but yeah, but it was such like a marquee thing because like you know like <laughs> it wasn't that the Cheetah Girls were wholesome, but like the whole dynamic changed as soon as Raven started like with them and stuff like that. Well, they became dis- the Disney Disneyfied. I guess you would call it. Yeah. So they became wholesome until they became repressed, and then they started acting out their wildish ways when they turned 18? <laughs> Isn't that what uh, Olivia Rodriguez is going through right now? She's starting to go through her Miley Cyrus. I don't even know who that is, so I can... Olivia Rodrigo uh, from um, from High School Musical, the series. Yeah, because I sat down and watched that. Mm-hmm. That's it, was like, it, was, it was like Logan's. It was like Logan's favorite thing. He used to talk about it all the freaking time. When I he was on the show. Half the time he was talking. <laughs> Once he said, "I'm obsessed with High School Musical," forty-seven times, I tuned out. <laughs> I get it. You're ahead of the game. That's a song from the first movie. In case you were wondering, go Wildcats. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> episode seventy six. Too old for this. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. That was a great. That was one. hilarious. That was hilarious. Oh man, let's see. Uh... Yo, I love all your silhouette thumbnails. Like, mm, kind of racy. Yeah, those are those are fun. Those are fun. Um, everybody poops. Everybody poops. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's also a good one. The episode where we explored uh, sexual costumes was also very informative and interesting yeah um nostalgic i guess in a to to some degree (laughs) there are some pretty weird costumes out there though man like uh look firefighters and cops are one thing but like a yoshi sexual (laughs) yoshi costume was very disturbing yeah that was disturbing uh that's all i have to say about that one bad dates are always a, a fun topic yeah, 
man. Yeah, I don't think we I don't think we talked enough about bad dates. No, yeah. we didn't definitely did well, not talk we'll about revisit that. Yeah. Uh I did enjoy the horoscope episode last week though too. Yeah. I thought it was fun. I feel like we could have spent more time on that too. Uh just to, you know, have some fun with it. I, I think there there's definitely more to explore there too. Maybe that'll be like a annual uh lunar new year thing where we or Chinese New Year. Yeah. Thing. That'd be pretty cool. But you know yeah. what? Speaking of speaking of exploring, if you'd like to support Boss Rush After Dark and the Boss Rush Network, head over to Patreon at, at patreon.com slash boss Rush network and go ahead and get started. Uh with the access, you get uh you get not only this show uh, t- uh at two weeks early and ad free, but there's also other perks like early access to other podcasts, voting rights, and more at that tier. Uh, again, that's patreon.com slash boss source network. And don't worry if you can't contribute financially, it's no big deal. Uh, your viewership and listenership are enough for us. Uh, if you're watching the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you'd like, and please leave us a thumbs up on this video and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when new episodes are, are going live. If you're listening on Spotify or Apple podcasts, leave our show a five-star review and a nice review. This all really helps with our visibility as well as our discoverability. Remember, you can always find new episodes as well as articles, reviews, and, and a lot more over on our website, which is bossrush.net. It's true. True. We enjoy your listenership. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. I don't know. The way Corey talks about holes, I think he appreciates y'all's holes too, but you know, that's, mm-hmm. that's, 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 on, for, that's on for another top, another day. Another, so. There's a lot yeah. to be appreciated well, with the good holes. You can't, just, you can't just look at a hole and appreciate it. You got to explore it and make sure it's no, I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god! Gotta plunder them holes. Oh god, man! It's like an, it's like an, it's like an episode of Expedition Unknown. You know? You never oh know. god! <laughs> Expedition Unknown. Had a few of those. Oh. Now the question yeah. is: Do you fill the holes, or do you leave the holes alone? Um, depends on what kind of hole. Some holes need to be filled. Depends on what that hole's attached to. <laughs> <laughs> or who? Well, I, I, it, it, I, I if I'm on a sinking always... ship and there's a hole, that hole is getting filled. I do not want to I, be on that ship. I always, I always, uh, I always seek consent from the hole before I do anything. No, no. the ship is sinking. I'm not seeking consent for that hole. That hole gets filled. <laughs> Man, good times, good times. I'm uh. I don't know. This show's going to be really first. It's going to be really weird without Laurent next week when we're at PAX, but it's going to be kind of interesting to do this show in person next week with yeah. people too. Man, if I was still a, a, dr- a drinker, like a real drinker, I would say we'd have like a drinking contest while we record, but I cannot recommend that because I would not be a good candidate. For that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I would be a good candidate for that either. And I would totally not be a candidate because I don't drink. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. Where I, I'm like talking about this cool idea where none of us really drink. It's like, wouldn't it be funny if we had a drinking episode, but we don't really drink? You know, it'd be funny is if we made Ed drink. <laughs> he would be the only one. Does he drink? I, sure, maybe. Yeah. No, I've heard him ta- tell stories about drinking before. Okay, I, I haven't, so I wouldn't know. Usually when. Uh, you know, something tragic happens to somebody, but yeah. I mean, I don't have a ton of like, mm, well, back in my twenties, I had a lot of funny drinking stories, right. And fond memories of drinking. Uh, it, I know that if I drank at the same amount that I do now, it would not be the same experience. And some of my fondest memories, uh, the, mm, what's the drinking game? It's called Kings where, everyone divides the deck up equally and you put each put rotate and put down a card and each card represents something like four floor whoever puts their hands on the floor last takes a drink five guys guys drink six chicks and i don't know it would just be so fun and i would get kind of messed oh. up oh y'all play that have fun <laughs> no no that's that's no i'm talking about the past <laughs> there, there's also the mario kart drinking game too yeah oh boy how does that go <laughs> Uh well, there's a Listen, couple different. Don't drink and drive, man. Yeah, well, you can't um, drink and drive. If you if you had to take a drink, you actually had to pull over and drink. 
um if you got like if you got hit by specific items uh, you got you had to take a like there was different drinks in front of you and you had to drink certain ones and then if you came in last place you had to do a double shot of something um if you came in you know it, we did like four player right and no no computer players or whatever so we did you know if you came in second to last place you had to take one drink if you came in last place you had to take two and the top two didn't have to drink but also like if you got hit by a blue shell you had to drink or you know if you slid on a banana peel you had to take a shot or something it was there's a rule book thing somewhere um i know some sometimes we played uh that you had to drink before like you could drive so you had to down your drink first and then you could start go- driving hmm. oh wow yeah hmm. Yeah, I don't remember much about those games. I just mostly people stopped playing like halfway through and just started getting really trashed. So yeah, <laughs> that's usually what happens. Oh, uh, man. They made me drink grenadine. That was my drink mm. during uh, those contests. Mm. Mm. I would say if we if we ever wanted to do something like that, we should make like a fun mocktail something like video game themed mocktail i think that'd be cool yeah there's like a list of video game drinks somewhere like somebody there is like a list of of that kind of stuff that you could do that'd be interesting to do like as a group i would be a little concerned that we get dangerous in some cases but you know it might be fun to do. Oh, like it doesn't have to be alcoholic. That's why I said mocktail. We can yeah. make non-alcoholic versions of those things. It's no yeah. problem. Like a princess peach milkshake. It's a milkshake, but with peach. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, that was my side tangent. I'm very excited for next week, by the way. I'm sad Thank Laurent's you. not going to be there. I'm sad, too. Yeah. Laron, why can't you fix things from afar? <laughs> mm, it's. It, uh, it, I mean, I I, 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 I can to some to some extent, but also at the same time, I, I can't. I know. I'm just messing with you. I'm just gonna miss you, man. Gonna miss yeah. You, man. Mm-hmm. I could have brought my laptop, miss, and, and then you could have fixed it. <laughs> Oh, good times, everybody. Good times, yeah. good, time, good times. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay, so what's uh, what's y'all's out- outlook for PAX? Ah, oh, man. I mean, I, I the, the thing I'm most excited for is to hang out with everybody, but I know we're going mm-hmm. to sort of work, too, so I'll probably, you know, I'm, I'm excited to talk to Atari. Um, David and I are going to Atari... I think Stephanie, are you on that invite too? I'll have to check. And it's kind of funny because I never heard back from my request for my appointment with Atari. So I might just tag along with you guys. Yeah, just go with us. It'll be fine. Hey, man. What about me? Where was my request in this? It went in the Discord chat. You never responded to it. So I might, I might have muted the Discord. Because I get too many notifications. That's fair. I also I same. <laughs> yeah, my Discord and my Twitter is are both muted. So, <laughs> uh, I check it when I feel like it's been a while. Oh, uh, but I'll just yeah. tag on with whoever, and you know, they'll yeah. like it or not. If they don't I, like it enough, yeah. I also like. I don't know. I'm excited to just like do things with with real people that aren't younger than six, like my children. Or you know, I, I it's been such a long time since I've done anything with friends, you know. And it's not like I'm like yearning for that, but it, I think it's going to be fun to do that, you know, because it, it's just been a long time. And also, like, it's going to be new for most of us with everybody. You know, I mean, I know Pat, you and Stephanie have done things before and David, but like, you know, it's going to be my fourth time seeing Steph Fourth, Yeah, I think fourth time. Cray, cray, cray. 
because we got Chicago, we had Wisconsin, we had PAX last year, and now we have PAX this year. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the only thing I'm kind of nervous about is, and this is a me problem, is that I'm going to try and want to do too much. Like I get overly ambitious. Yeah. Um, even last year, I kind of pushed myself because I just underestimated the amount of time, energy, and physical activity required to work the floor. And mm-hmm. now that there's going to be a bunch of us there, I do want to cons. I should probably remind myself, like, hey, also just kind of slow it up a little bit. You know, I can still get some articles and recordings done, but these are people next to Pat, because I'm just lucky I get to see Pat as often, but like everyone else, either I've maybe met once or maybe never met in person at all. I'm like, this is an opportunity that's rare and I want to be able to cherish it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I really want to, like, I want to, I want to do the work, right? Like mostly probably in the morning, but like in the afternoons and evenings, like I want to, spend time with everybody you know like because this i mean there's not going to be really another chance for a while probably right i mean till pax I, west yeah i'm not going to pax west it's too far what what, what if that's where all the, too the other vendors come i know like yeah uh, i know yacht club uh celia said she's going to pax west yeah so so uh yeah i i just want to cherish this time because until we figure out the <laughs> the the numbers thing and, and growing and stuff like that you know this this is these are going to be few and far between so i just hope we all get along and you know hang out and do the thing and be happy not be annoyed hopefully too with people you say it end. like <laughs> i was gonna say you're, you're saying like there's a high chance we're gonna get on each other's nerves I mean, it's, I'm not it's always... going to say that we won't, but there there will probably be some people that will be like, okay, we have hung out enough now. Like, poke, 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 poke. Mm-hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm like, it's in the back of my mind. I just, I'm going to try not to worry about it. But I, I would, not, I would be lying if I said I hadn't thought about it at all. So. Wow, now I'm like getting anxiety. Leron, help! I'm getting anxiety. Steph, it's kind of like what uh, what David said uh, when we had that meeting. I mean, we're all extreme introverts here. Yeah, there's gonna be a point where we're gonna be like, I need my time now. Yeah, I'm. I was like, just about to tell you. Yeah, like whenever whenever I go out of town, like like I'm on, and then as soon as my social bandwidth like drops, I'm done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I mean, look, I'm I'm already just anxious about getting to the airport on time and getting on a plane and then getting to where I need to go once we land. <laughs> so, you know, I'm still trying to figure that out. And I mean, I not like plane tickets or anything, but like once I land, what's, you know, what's the next step from there? So, you know, we should probably give Stephanie our, uh, all of our landing times that way. Maybe if there's a group of us within a time, you know, we yeah, we will have to talk operationally because it it's going to be it's not going to be efficient for me to not that I don't want to, but it's going to be very inefficient for me to pick up you each and one every one of you guys personally mm-hmm. because it's a weekday. Yeah. In Boston and there's a big toll every time you go to Logan Airport. <laughs> so, I we need to think smart about it. Yeah, I mean, I, I get in late, which is upsetting, but it'll be all right, I guess. I think I'm early evening. Yeah, my my flight lands at nine forty, so which is not ideal. But you're going to be a tired person. That was about last year with me. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I don't I'll think I'll we made it back. No, what will happen is I'll sleep on the plane and then I'll be up all night. And then be tired the next day. What will happen? Uh, I think what was I think last time when I went, Steph picked me up probably around ten ten thirty, and we didn't make it back to her place until after eleven. Mm-hmm. And it was like, okay, we're going to bed right now so that we can wake up early and drive all the way back, back to, to Boston. Boston. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, good times though, right? I mean, 
Yeah. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Mm-hmm. No, I, uh, ever since I started up my Twitter account, I've actually made some friends and they're uh, going to PAX too. So mm-hmm. I'm excited to also meet them as well. Yeah. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to figure out who's going like from other outlets and companies and people, creators and, I think Grayson's going. Grayson's going. Uh, I don't know if you guys know him, but uh, Asa Green River is going from Borderline Entertainment. Um, Roger from Gamerheads is going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sebastian is going. Uh, Sebastian Malden is going. Um, who else is going? There's quite a few people going. So very, I'm very happy to meet them too, and hopefully get them on some stuff. I also have been talking to uh, a podcast. What do they call them? the backlog? Something. Hold on. They. I want to talk to them about backlogs on the on a podcast. Tales from the backlog. I love that podcast. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have the. I. I He's gonna be to at them. PAX. Yeah, I've talked to them about coming to the media room to record with us for a segment about backlog gaming. So, oh, dude, that's awesome. I want to be there. Yeah. yeah. So See, my... all these people, all these connections, in addition to talking with game devs and publishers, so exciting. Mm-hmm. But Patrick, as you mentioned, as an introvert, I am already exhausted thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bonus points, though, to whoever befriends Ben Starr and brings him back to one of our parties. Parties? Are we having a party? Uh, oh, we will if Ben Starr's there. Yeah, <laughs> he he see, is the party. This is, see, Fair. this is why. This is honestly why I'm not going to PAX because um, I'm Ben Starr. Yeah, uh, yeah, like uh, like I, it, he might have to issue a restraining order against me. Hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty like, sure Ben that's, Starr. That's, can that's, fight. that's a very pretty man. That's a very pretty man. Uh, he he's about as uh, muscular as Clive. I'm pretty sure he can defend himself. Mm. It's not about it's not about defense. Oh, he, he he will he will bust out that long sword and he will fight you. Oh, he'll bust out the long sword, eh? Like, he might long not sword. Fight. Right. All right, all right. <laughs> that that fight and the fight is going to get fiery. Man, will it, everything will just like burn and. God, burn? Burns, you better get that checked out. Mm. Maybe, right. I should, maybe I should book a hotel room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I'm not bringing them back to the Airbnb. Or you losers. Uh-uh. Mm. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, Kim Chick is there. The Russia orgy that we were going to have. Oh, God. <laughs> you mean the after dark orgy? That one? <laughs> I don't. Oh, so I used to I'd stop acting like you. There's always one. There's always one in there. It's like, no, no, I don't want to do it. And the biggest freak in the fucking room. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, it's always the more reserved, quiet person that tends to be the freakiest. Uh, yeah, like such such a weak protest suit. No, stop. No, don't do that. No, why are you touching it? Quit it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> don't put it in there. Trust me. <laughs> I swear, this wasn't the first time I did it. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, I'm so shy. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's it's never this loose. I'm <laughs> yikes. <laughs> Open right up for you. <laughs> uh, oh, Guardians mental health is going. Yes. So I will be attending that booth. I'm gonna try to get them to talk about something. Uh does it have to do with mental health? Yeah. What is that? Because you said about something. Oh, no, he was going to talk about Destiny Two. I mean, it'll probably be both. He's Maybe. good. He he's good to do his. Uh, I good to tower, ca- uh, towers, ca- casual towers. What towers, casual? casual, casual, towers. Towers. <laughs> casual he's going to do casual towers uh, with them. There's the name of our next uh, explicit episode: Casual Towers. Or or formal castles, you know. Thanks. <laughs> That's in rare form tonight, I swear. I love it. Thank you. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> well, episode episode one hundred. I don't know y'all. where to go from here. Um 
Yeah, I'm just I'm looking at people who are going and there's a lot of people. I'm sure people will meet also. Uh, oh, yeah. Bring your shirts, yeah. I guess. Let people know where you are. But yeah, I'm quite I'm quite pleased with the amount of people that are going. I definitely want to be super active on social media, too. So everybody's going to get passwords to things. I thought people had them already, but maybe I just didn't hand them out or whatever. I don't like know. passwords to the Bosch accounts like like Instagram and, and oh. stuff. Yeah. Okay. I mean, mostly the people that I, I trust. So. Um, so yeah. everyone but Ed. Look. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's a that's a topic to unpack on another episode or three. <laughs> hey, Leron, what's your predictions between at least the the ones that you're more familiar that are going, such as Corey, Pat, and myself? Who do you think is going to be the most? Who has it together the most? Who will be the most scatterbrained? Let's start with those two. Okay, uh, I think I think Corey will have it together the most. Uh, scatterbrained. Um, who else going now? Who who else there? Pat, Actually, myself, a, David Lasby. It'll be a toss between Corey and David for having it the most together. Um, yeah, I can't really I can't really call that one scatterbrained. Um, I'm thinking I'm thinking Ed Ed for sure is in that mix. Um, <laughs> Ed for sure is in that mix. Let me see. Mary Helen's also going right. Mm-hmm. Mary Helen and Cordy, Courtney, I guess. and Cordy. Oh, Cordy, yeah, oh, Cordy might. Yeah, I think. Yeah, Cordy's also a good contender. Um, I think Stephanie. I, I, I'm not going to rule you out either because I think, like, in certain situations, you will get ultimately flummoxed. <laughs> I, I, I might have had to lead Stephanie by the hand a few times last year. Yeah, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. If anybody from the Allen Wake team is there, like, like Stephanie's gonna lose it. If anybody from Baldur's, if, if anybody from the Baldur's Gate team is like in her position, which there are, will be, Lara, um, Larry and Steve. Larry. Yeah, Larry yeah. yeah. Listen, I may or may not be cosplaying as a particular character from any one of those games that I'm obsessed with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Depending mm-hmm. if the items I order arrive on time. <sighs> Um, let's see. Um, and I'm excited. Pain. I'm excited for panels. Actually, I'm I, I'm excited for the uh, the the X giant bomb people to do their panel. Uh, never been a better beast cast, which was giant bomb east, and then they closed that branch, and now they're all doing. Uh, most of them are doing next lander, but the other people are at CNET and new giant bomb, I guess. But I'm very excited for that panel a future game show for me i will definitely be at that one i want those uh i want those exclusive maybe maybe we'll even find out the new way forward game there maybe doubtful but maybe that would be cool yeah that would be neat and that's what the future game show is all about it's those like smaller mid games yeah like i want to go i don't know if i can sit for that long it's only an hour. I know. <laughs> that that that's the that panels. <laughs> I know. And Speaking it's in the theater, so comfortable seats. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll go. Um, maybe I'll go with you, Pat. Okay. Brendan Brendan Groom from Past the Controller. He's going to be doing a video game cocktail hour and I believe Kim Chica is part of the panel so to speak which caught my eye the only downside it's at 9 p.m. And I'm like ah, I don't know if I could do that a panel at 9 p.m. what are they young I know oh, they're... isn't Kim Chica married how could she stay out till 9 some people <laughs> some people stay out some people like to you know plus like most of social media people at least from my understanding and from wh- how my job works is that most social people media people work like they start at like 11 or noon because of the way time <laughs> timetables work yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh 
you know, time zones, not timetables, time zones. Like, oh. Timetables? Oh. Okay, sure. Yeah. So maybe, you know, if you get up later, you can stay up later. Usually, maybe that's how that works. <laughs> I do feel maybe. like Sarah from Toge Games, like I see her on or like speaking like kind of later morning and early afternoon for us. And it's like, that's still like middle of the night for you. What? Yeah. Why are you up? <laughs> But makes sense because that's when her general audience is. Um. Ooh, Bungie is going to be there in some capacity. Ex employees or no? No, <laughs> they're let us shit talk about Bungie. Yes. Wow, their marketing <laughs> their marketing team is going to be there, but I don't know in what capacity because they don't have a booth. So. Well, they probably had a booth, but then they probably let it go. I mean, they're probably not even going to have a studio in like a year, depending on how the final shape does. <laughs> it Sorry. is really the final, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to figure out who all's going. I, 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 I typed in hashtag Paxis to see who's. Alaron, we will definitely bring you stories. Yeah. Yes, please, please, and may, yeah. and maybe Ben Star if he goes missing in the news. Don't look at us. Oh. I'll Who's know, to I'll say? Know, I'll know exactly. I'll know exactly where he's heading. Who's to say he's trapped in that in those doors behind Stephanie? Who's to say? What's that knocking behind Stephanie? Who knows? Who's to say? <laughs> <laughs> Not Ben Starr. <laughs> oh, good times. Good, good times. Laron, what are you going to do on your week off? Two weeks off? I have no idea. I have no idea. Hmm. Um, I know right now, I know right now my boyfriend is out of town for until Sunday. So, um, I've got like, I've got like a hall pass. Oh, oh. yeah. He's actually in Boston right now. Oh. Yeah. He's attending, he's doing a conference for his, for his work. Oh, where's the, like, does it, is it at like a, co- a university or. I'm not sure specifically where it's at. Like I should have asked him shit. I didn't ask him enough questions. As far as I know, it might not even be for work. That he, it might not even be work while he's up there now. Shit. <laughs> I should have asked him more questions. I should have gotten an itinerary. As a matter of fact, you know what? Yeah, he told he me give it to me, and I could have spied on him for you. He actually he also told me that that as soon as he landed, uh, that he would give me the update for when he's coming back, and I haven't gotten that yet. And he landed at four o'clock this afternoon. Mm. Hmm. Well, it's, he's a, probably, it's a it's eleven o it's eleven o six p.m. right now for everyone who's listening. He's probably still trying to find his way out of Lincoln Airport. <laughs> he arrived at rush hour in Boston. Just saying. Big yeah, Rand's going to be there. Mm-hmm. I remember yeah, so when he performed in a little bar here in Milwaukee. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of people going, so I'm I'm interested to see who's there. I'm interested to see what kind of famous people are there. Uh, Midwest Midwest Publishing, um, Major Nelson might be there for Midwest Publishing. Really? Yeah, yeah he wor- He's he's uh, he works for them now. Wow, really? He went there after uh, you know like three months off from Xbox. He went there. Yeah, that's. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Guyly Games is going to be there too with Ra Ra Boom. Very excited for that too. We interviewed their CEO at some point. Ra Ra Boom looks cool though. I gotta say. Uh, yeah. So I'm. I don't know. Hope we. I hope we don't get sick of each other. You probably will. I'm saying that that's making me anxious. I'm already now, now, anxious. Now, now I'm, ex- now, I'm expect- now I'm expecting to hear you, hear you guys come back, and Corey's like, "I'm shutting, I'm shutting Boss Rush down." He probably will. No, I, I, my worry is that everybody's gonna quit after this. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like, what that's doing? what happened to my podcast. I, I wouldn't be quitting. I'm just afraid everybody else is gonna get sick of me because <laughs> I'm weird. It's fine. I come back and I no longer have a podcast. It happens. 
what I do as an introvert when I get overwhelmed, I just say, hey guys, I'm just going to go rest in my room now. Bye. Like, that's what we all need to do. If we're just kind of not able to hang, then we just retreat back into privacy. Like, no need to get on each other's nerves. Now I'm all worried now. Thanks for sucking the fun out of <laughs> packs, Corey. That's that's me. I'm the fun sucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, get all the fun out. And then what do you Suck have? on it. An empty soul. Aw. <laughs> Laron, help us. Laron, make me feel better about myself. Um, <laughs> um, I I don't know if I I don't know if I can help you, man. Oh, uh, great job, thanks. Uh, <laughs> be there in person to help you there. We're gonna shut it down. I know, I know, but ultimately, ultimately, uh, ultimately, like the four of us are gonna have to get together at some point. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ultimately, like it it, it should have been this year, but you know, like circumstances and stuff. You know, with it work and things. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I really wanted to go, and like this is this has been my first major video game convention ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's my a, first one. There's a pretty big one in Columbus in November. Mm-hmm. What is it? What's it's, the name uh, of it? It starts with a T. I want to say Torg, but hey, maybe we may, maybe we should maybe we should plan it to like to like terrorize Jeff Keeley at one of his things. Like he's, he, well, he's I mean, he like, lets anybody on stage. We might as well go up there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Maybe that's the thing. Maybe we should try. To, maybe we should try to get in, get into the game awards. <laughs> I mean, we could get into summer games. That got announced. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a little too. It's a little too soon for that. Like, I I got stuff going on this summer. Like, uh, like, 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 boyfriend and I are, are planning on moving in together and stuff like that. So, like, uh, so, like, yeah. This this summer is not going to work. Another move. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. 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 Very nice. Ah. Oh, well, what now? Uh, we can wrap it up. Bedtime. Yeah, it is bedtime. Yeah, I need to, I need to actually I need to actually eat dinner. Like we had like uh like like our our boss first podcast recording was we had we had a special guest on. I'm not saying it here. You're gonna have to go just check the show notes or you just go check the show when it goes live. We had we had we had special guests for Boss Podcast and um it forced me not to eat dinner because I wanted to be there and make sure like, you know, like I was all in. So I, I skipped dinner. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to eat as soon as we get done with this. All right. Well then let's, yeah, let's, let's go. All right. Well, everyone that's going to wrap it up for tonight's episode. I want to thank, I want to give a big thanks to everyone out there that's been watching or listening and sticking with us through 100 wonderful episodes of this show. You guys do not understand that uh, how, how like awesome it makes me, Corey, Stephanie and Pat feel just to know that we've done, a, we've done a, uh, we've done a show for a hundred episodes. Uh, we've, we've, we've kept it consistent. We've kept it, We've kept it entertaining. We've kept you guys engaged, and we hope to do more of it. Uh, this is the Boss Rush After Dark show, the alternative po- topical podcast for adults on the Boss Rush Network. If you enjoyed the show, like I said earlier, please leave us a five-star rating and a nice review on the podcast services, or subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Once again, it all really helps with discoverability and visibility. Uh, just... And come back and hang out with us soon because we've got more topics to go through. Like we're going to talk more about AI in the future. Uh, you know, we're going to talk about whether or not machines are really going to replace us as they have, uh, like you know, in McDonald's, for example. <laughs> um, the TikTok ban. We're going to have to talk about that sooner or later. Oh yeah. Um, um, not if Bobby Kotick know. buys it. Oh gosh. Is that is that a thing? Is that yeah? He he wants to buy it and restructure it so it doesn't get banned. He, okay. He mm-hmm. is, um, you know, as much as I dislike Bobby Kotick, you know, like I, 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 I would kind of trust his move, but I know that motherfucker would monetize it. I mean, he, yeah. I mean, he's, he's a, he's allegedly a dick, but I have to say, <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to get sued. Um, but his business decisions seem to make money. Yeah. Is, you know, I yeah. guess something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there'll be there'll be more laughs, more more feelings, more more raunch. You know, all the stuff that we like to get down on here on this show and stuff like that. So please stay tuned for it. We can't. We we are excited to do another hundred of, the, of these of these shows. So yeah, 
we're going to end it on that note. We want to take care on behalf of Corey, Stephanie, Patrick. Uh, we love you guys. Uh, please come back with us soon. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys do live at After Dark. Yay. Take care. We love you. Good night. Goodbye. Bye. If you want to see how you can become a Patreon producer, head on over to patreon.com slash boss rush network. The Patreon producers for this month are Adriel Munger, Austin Campbell, Celeste Roberts, Christian S. Sana Dierig, Francisco Santilan, Matthew Keel, and Todd Oxtra. Thanks for your continued support of the Boss Rush Network.